Seafair, are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Okay, shoot. I never wanted to do music, Mr. <laughs> Easy. Hmm. Popular singer and entrepreneur, Oluwa Tosin Oluwole Ajibade, aka Mr. Easy, has revealed that he never wanted to be a musician. The mechanical engineer said he stumbled into music by accident. He actually contemplated quitting music in 2019, just three years into his music career. The skin size screener said, I have a techno company called Zagadat Capital, and this was like me being bored of music. After performing on the first day of Coachella in 2019, I came down from the stage and I felt nothing. No happiness, no sadness. Mm. Mm. Well, there's nothing like being fulfilled in your work. And the and in chap is is em was empty, so he implied. And they deviated into other things that would give him joy. You should never dwell in the in the, in the situation, a business that does not give you joy. Mm. And although it's very difficult in Nigeria of today, whatever you have, you better keep it until you have joy later. Manage it until you have joy combined with the compensation. Right? Okay, any other? Yeah, well, let's move on. Sheon Kutsi, why Nigerian artists blow on the global stage? Let's see. <laughs> Grammy nominated Afrobeat singer Sheon Anikula Kutsi has revealed the reason Nigerian artists have made a significant impact on the international music scene. Sheon Kutsi, who recently returned to Nigeria after a successful European tour, made the disclosure at the Fela debate which kicked off this year's celebration on Monday night of October 2023. He said, I'm not in the business of things, but the answer to that one is very simple. Investments. Nigerian musicians, at least the popular ones that break into the market, have millions of dollars and Nigerian money behind them. Well, 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 they, they took light. And uh, the UPS had come out. Wow. I hope. Uh, oh my. Uh, are we still? We are, we are off. We are off here. Because it just got okay. shut down. Okay, we are back. We are back. But they need to now rejig the uh, Jabla. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Enterprise in Nigeria. Yeah. This electricity thing is something that has to really be taken care of. I'm sure this is generator. Mm -hmm. This guy's I should not think I know how to do this. We should come and fix this just well. Well, we have, as, as, as young folks say, uh, a little bit of Nigeria happened here, but we are on top of it. Um, uh, we, I don't know who's, uh, I don't know who's, uh, um, I think the other Alex or Mr. T, there's a hold back from your end. Like they are shaving, like they are shaving, um, no some kind of uh, wooden panels around you there. You could see my face mostly while I was trying to use the powder to freshen up. I must have overdone it. <laughs> Is that if it, you don't see my face on Facebook, I look like somebody doing Gareta. You don't remember Gareta in... <laughs> <laughs> Alex, Alex, no, no, Alex, no, no. Uh, Alex, Alex, no, no, Garita. Uh -huh. Alex, a very young man. Uh -huh. Or maybe, maybe he was not born in Lagos. Okay, I know my stories. I know. Eh, we call it Garita. There, there, there's this fanciful young boys who wear face masks with them. 
we were and be and be harassing the little little girls on the road. Let me let me try. The general of that your position will be a bit hard. The judge law is not on. Maybe they are not aware. I don't hear anything on my mic. Okay. So, I don't kill this one. So, but I don't hear anything. Yeah, no need. Just put your mic on. I should put my mic on. Okay. If you put her on, so that you type your program. I should continue. Continue. Just continue. no music. Yeah, okay. I should just continue, okay. Okay, you see, sir? We have been cleared to land. I oh, can hear myself, okay? I'm sure you can hear me. So, if I continue from, I think we were talking about Shehun before yes, yes. we dozed up. Yes. Okay, um, Shehun was advising, can you get, get, get me the last paragraph to, to get a feel of uh, what's going on? He said, I'm not in the business of food, but the answer to that one is very simple. Investments. Nigerian musicians, at least the popular ones, that break into the market, have millions of dollars and Nigerian money behind them. Okay, okay, I get that. Um, I will advise Mr. Sheon Kuti to also um, emulate them, put money into the business, and he's just come back from the US, I mean the Europe tour. So there are plenty of uh, foreign currencies and all that. So it's, it's, <laughs> you should also do the same. <laughs> uh, but but well, all right, without without doubt, our boys have gone have gone supersonic, so to speak. Um, if uh, let's move on quickly. My life in danger for speaking against EFCC kills alleges. Singer Rao John Injeng Injeng. AKA Skills, as alleged is receiving threats for speaking against the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. On Tuesday, the 10th of October 2023, Skills reportedly called out the EFCC, claiming heavily armed operatives of the ADFC broke into his house and wrongly accused him of being a fraudster. Hmm. He claimed they harassed him in the presence of his wife and six months old daughter, stressing that he had a panic attack because of some health issues he's dealing with. He also alleged his producer was injured by the EFCC operative. Mm. Taken to his ex handle the same morning, Skills revealed his life was under threat following his alleged ordeal in the hands of EFCC operatives. I was just threatened for speaking out now. Well, Mr. Skills, uh, thank you for speaking out. Mm. Now, EFCC has a substantive uh, leadership, so. Uh, they should take notes that people don't take uh, act, I mean, self-help. Uh, although some of our artists have K-Leg also, I think this is not the first time they they have um, arrested or or um, how will I call it attacked his um, his uh, reputation or his uh, environment and all that mm. for one reason or the other, some fraud fraud related issues and all that, uh, but. Uh, uh, EFCC should be more professional, more uh, add more finesse to uh, these things. Even if you assume someone is a criminal, that's a nice way of doing it. You can't harass a man in front of his young she family and, and, and do the investigation. And yeah, yeah. You can invite him. He's not going to run away. Mm. And if you run, you can always find him. If you run, you can find him. 
Well, let's go on. Um, please see as you see. Uh, while we are obeying the last command, do it with um, some kind of civility. Yeah. Bernard Boy loses all seven nominations at 2020 BET Hip Hop Awards. Hmm. Nigeria Media. Grammy winning Nigerian singer <laughs> Bernard Boy <coughs> has lost out on all of his seven nominations at the 2020 BET Hip Hop Awards held at Atlanta's Cup Energy Performing Arts Center on 3rd October, but broadcast a week after Tuesday night, 10th hmm. October 2023. The South African Giants lost the Hip Hop Artist of the Year, Lyricist of the Year, and Best Life Performer of the Year category <laughs> to American rapper Kendrick Lamar. Oh Bernard Boy also lost out on Oslo of the Year to 50 Cent and Best Collaboration of the Year for Sitting on Top of the World, featuring 21 Savage to Lil Dogs All My Life, featuring J. Cole. His other lost Lucy came in the Best Hip Hop Video for Sitting on Top of the World to Lil Uzi Vert Just Wanna Rock and Song of the Year to the same song. Like, um, some Nigerians are like Alex. The wicked will be laughing now. Eh? The I, don't, I don't understand why that person who wrote that story is so negative. Very negative. That's, yeah. that's why I said Nigerian yeah. media. It's like they are feasting on yeah. it. Said, this guy been winning, winning, it's winning. Not as if, you know? It's not as if he was nominated. They say he was not nominated. No, he was nominated I mean, seven times. So he had seven nominations. And he lost all the nominations. He was nominated. Okay. He was not when they say he lost the nominations, yeah, well, it, gives uh, yeah. it gives a different meaning. Yeah, you're know? yeah, right. You're it, right. Means, it could mean that he wasn't nominated. Yeah, right. No, no. They started off, he got all these seven nominations, mm -hmm. and they counted it as losses if he didn't win them. So because it's okay, in each category, okay. they call it, uh, so he lost those awards, yeah. not the nomination, because he already gotten the nomination. Yes, sir, yes, yes. Uh, so some of your media people need, still need training. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Excuse me, Fudge. Can training still work? <laughs> when, when, Nigeria, when Nigeria could be said to have confidently lost one nil to the Republic, okay? And then the, in the other state, <laughs> Nigeria, uh, or better Republic, not Nigeria, one year. You know, you, you understand different angles to stories. Yeah, yeah. Well, there are no minions in football anymore. Everybody, everybody's waking up. And if you don't get your act together, like our, our administrators here doing like Marabao, doing like a, a Babian La all over the place. And you will expect that uh, these things will catch up on you. Uh, but anyway, mm, the guy lost it, and Nigerian media was like celebrating it. Yeah, also. Celebrating his losses. Celebrating his losses, imagine. Uh, Very there's, 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 a German, there's a German word, Skyden fraud, where you celebrate someone else's misfortune. It's, it's not a very good state of it's mind. It's not. It's not. It's a bad state of mind. Anyway, we thank God. Is it fair we still have some for us? Yes. Good boy decries rising fuel cost. Lament spending 3 million naira monthly on diesel. Mm. Popular singer Paul Okoye, also known as Root Boy, of the Peace Squad, has expressed dismay over the severe economic challenges in the country, particularly the surge in petroleum product prices. He wrote recently in his Instagram story, I bought my first car worth 10,000 naira years back, and I was very proud of that. Now I spent 3 million naira on diesel for just a month. Total madness. Only God knows what a common man is going through. Mm. 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 We can, we can feel sure you. Some, some, something amazing. I mean, all these artists giving themselves some, some mean names. If you're a rude boy, and then you are accusing of being being silly or nasty. You say you are a gentleman. How can you be a gentleman when you are a rude boy? <laughs> you are a rude boy. Anyway, uh, he, he made a very profound statement. If he could go through this and feel it, he's a millionaire, if not in dollars, in naira. And if he could go through this, uh, how, imagine what ordinary people will be going through. Some of, some of them his fans. Uh, it's 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 tragic where we have found ourselves, but we trust we have to hope that we get better. 
Yeah, I know I've been hoping since like the seventies, but we cannot stop hoping. Is hope a strategy? Uh, well, hope is a state of mind. <laughs> which nobody can take away from me. I'll continue to hope for a better Nigeria. Okay, Sipe, are you are you are you finished? Yes, we are true. Okay. That was a Sife for you. Um we will take a, a brief break and come back uh with the newspaper I mean global trends. Mr. Teeth. <laughs> 